Hello. Today we're going to focus on profit maximization. Profit maximization is done by taking a cost function and a price level at which you can sell your product and using that information to build a profit function. That profit function will then be maximized in order to find your maximum profit that you can earn. Let's take a look at this specific problem. Here we have our cost function and our price at which we can sell our goods for. In this case, the goods are wood planks. OK, so to start, we'll build our profit function. In a traditional economics course, introductory type course, you would see profit be defined as the revenue that you earn as a company minus the costs it takes to earn that revenue. In this case, we're looking at something no different. Profit, which we'll denote as pi here, is equal to revenue, which we can boil down to be price times quantity, or literally the price at which you can sell your items or your products times the amount of products you sell. Then we're going to subtract out our cost curve, which will normally be given to us in these problems, and we'll denote that as C for now. So in this case, profit will be equal to the price at which I can sell my goods for, which is 75. We're going to change Q to Y just to be consistent with what our cost function uses. So 75 times Y. And then we're going to subtract out this cost function, 75 times Y minus 300 plus Y cubed. So just to expound out that negative sign, we're going to say profit is equal to 75y minus 300 minus y cubed. From there, in order to maximize anything, what we have to do is take the derivative and set it equal to 0. If we look right here on a graph, this is, would be a mathematical type concept. Let's just make up some sort of graph, right? In this case, I have an upside down parabola of sorts. At this point, the highest point of my parabola, my slope is zero. I'm transitioning from a positive slope to a negative one. But at this exact point, at the highest point of my curve, my slope is zero. That's where this curve is maximized. The profit function is no different. At the highest point of my profit function, my slope will be zero. So in order to find my maximum profit, I should take the derivative of my profit function and set it equal to zero. And we're going to do that with respect to y. So derivative of profit function with respect to y equals zero. In this case, that would be 75 minus 3y squared would be our derivative of that profit function. Again, notice that this 300 goes away because there's no y attached, so it's treated as a constant because it is one. So now we have 75 minus 3y squared. We can set that equal to 0 as that is our maximizing point. Let's add 3y squared to both sides and say 75 equals 3y squared. So 25 equals y squared, square root both sides. We get that my output level to maximize profit is 5. We're asking for how many wood planks will be produced to maximize profits. So our first answer would be y equals 5. We should produce 5 wood planks to maximize profits. Next, the question asks, is profit positive? Profit is positive if we plug in our value of y into our profit function and we get a positive number. In this case, I can plug in y equals 5 to the profit function we've already built. Let's take a look. So we have 75 times 5 minus 300 minus 5 cubed. This would be 75 times 5, which is 375. 
minus 300 minus 5 cubed, which is 125. So we would get 75 minus 125 or negative 50. So to answer our second question, profit would be negative 50 in this case. So no, profit is negative. Okay, and for our third step, our third question, will the firm shut down to maximize profit in the short run? Now, it might seem reasonable that if we are seeing a negative profit, we would immediately suggest to close down our firm. But the issue is we've already paid some sort of fixed cost. In this case, our fixed cost is 300. It's the amount that we've invested that doesn't change with the amount of quantity we produce and can still be worked down on. For instance, let's talk about a, an oven, right? If we're looking at a pizza restaurant. If we invest in that oven, we pay $300 to buy that oven. We might be making a loss on that oven still, but we can sell enough pizzas that we're making a profit on the margin enough to pay off some of that debt we've incurred for that oven. Therefore, our profits will still be negative, but it makes sense to still stay open. In order to check that mathematically, we would plug in zero for our quantity at profit. If we get more profit when we produce zero items, then we should shut down. But if we get more profit at our profit maximizing point, then we should stay open. Let's take a look. 75 times zero minus 300 minus zero cubed. This leads us to a profit of negative 300 when we shut down. Therefore, it makes more sense to stay open. We get a profit of negative 50 compared to this negative 300 profit if we shut down. So even though we're making a negative profit, on the margin, we're actually making enough off of our wood planks in this case to be able to work away at this debt we've incurred as our fixed cost. So in the long run, we may make a different decision, but in the short run, we will stay open.